Hey guys, what's up? My name is Rachel and welcome back to my channel, The Reading Otter 7. So today I am doing a y'all fest haul kind of um, thing. There's a lot of stuff that we picked up at uh, y'all fest this past weekend. Um, if you don't know what y'all fest is, it's a young adult book festival held in Charleston, South Carolina um, every year in November. It's usually like the 10th, 11th, somewhere around there. It's the second weekend in November. Um, and this year was the seventh annual y'all fest so um every year it gets kind of bigger and better um so we have quite a lot to show you um, i'm going to start with kind of like the random assortment to like knickknacks bookmarks that kind of thing um samplers and such and then i'll move into the arcs um as well as the actual books that we've got um i guess i'll show you what we got a second in charles next so i picked up uh between the devil and the deep blue sea by april genevieve Tuchol. Also from Second and Charles, just for fun, I picked up um, a bath bomb called the F-Bomb. Um, my friend Lindsay uses this one all the time, so it's great. Okay, and now I'm going to move into all the random crap that we acquired. Not crap. Great bookish nerdy merch that we acquired. Um, and like I said, I'll tell you if we bought it or not. So I'm going to start with what Beth got, just because then I can put it to the side and not accidentally mix it up with mine. So, there's not a lot that she got that I didn't, but there are a couple things. Um, one is this cute little, like, themed hot chocolate packet for one of the arcs that we got, which is American Panda. And it kind of tells you a little snippet about the story, and then, like, the instructions for Swiss Miss. And she also got this cool-looking magnet thing that's like the all-seeing eye, kind of, sort of. It's like Ouija. I feel like it, it feels very Ouija to me. So I got an Epic Reads lookbook. This thing is packed full of like samplers and like information about upcoming books and that kind of thing. So I got, which we're super excited about, but also kind of salty, and I'll tell you why in a second, uh, a Zenith sampler um, for Sasha and Lindsay's book. A um, little salty because my friend Chloe actually managed to get her hands on an arc of this, and I'm mad because I wanted one more. We went to an event um, called the Biscuit Brunch. Um, it was like a first 100 people kind of thing and they handed out biscuits and these really awesome totes that I'll show you later and then you could get um, like five authors to sign it um, or any of their books you could get them to sign um, we didn't bring any of their books so um, we just got the tote signed but they gave us these napkins that say books y'all and they're sponsored by underlined and Beth thought it was too cute and so we kept it um, like the playlist of all the songs that you like can find in the book which this looks really cute and they had a lot of really cute like things to give away with that um, like, quick shout out, HMH team had, like, their crap together, the whole y'all fest. Like, they were efficient, quick. If they had an arc job at 2.30, they were dropping that arc at 2.30. Like, and they were just always, like, happy and perky about it, and so I think that was probably one of my favorite booths, because they were just good at getting it done. Um, and then there's a couple bookmarks here that she grabbed that I didn't, and the first one is for Reconstructing Amelia, um, and it's also got the Outliers trilogy on the other side. So the one that we have is a bookmark for Genesis, which is the sequel to Nemesis, wow, which is the sequel to Nemesis by Brendan Reichs. Um, this is really cool looking actually, I think. Looks pretty sweet. So, and then this one, which I don't know where she got it, but I'm super jealous. And this um, is, says, uh, true friends are always together in spirit. Oh, it was from the bookish box apparently. And it's a quote from Anne of Green Gables. Okay, there's a couple posters that are just her. Um, yeah, so this one is like a map of the land of Red Queen. That looks scary like Michigan. Um, does that not look like Michigan to anybody else out there with all the lakes around it? Um, that is totally Michigan. Oh, I didn't realize it took place in like a dystopian United States. Cause that is totally Michigan. It's kind of big. Um, and this is a Lord of Shadows poster. It's exclusive. It was exclusive to y'all fest. Anyway, um, so yeah, there's, there's that. Okay, now we're moving into stuff that I got. Beth's may have gotten some of this, but we're not gonna show both. So, yeah. Um, I'm gonna go kind of like reverse order and show you my big stuff first. So there's this poster of the galaxy in Zenith. Um, which is really cool. And then I also got this really adorable poster that I saw at the Penguin um, audiobook table. 
and I was like, I have to have this. Um, and it's a Star Wars poster with Yoda, and he's got little earbuds, and it says, May the audiobooks be with you. Yeah. That and then I have one more poster. This is from the Riveted booth. And it's for the Neil Schusterman book Scythe. It's actually double-sided, so on this side it's Scythe, and then on this side it's the sequel, which is Thunderhead. And I think I would display this side because the colors are really cool. Okay, now the rest of this is gonna have no rhyme or reason. It's just like I got a pile and I'm just gonna go through it. Do you want to show that? Um, I nah. Okay, so I picked up these um bubbles from Epic Reads because why not? You always need bubbles. The only knickknack that I bought. Uh, I got this little button. This was Y'all Fest's um like poster kind of like logo for the weekend kind of sort of. I guess it's their logo. Um, and I thought it was really, really cool, and I have a friend who's, like, super artistic, and I was like, wow, she would love that. And it was, I want to say it was five dollars? It was five or three, I don't really remember, because I bought it on Friday, and so much has happened since Friday. And so, when you buy something from Yale Fest, they give you these fun little bookmarks that have the logo. Um, we got six, but, uh, Beth took two, and I'm giving one to the same friend who's getting the button. So this is what I have left to show you. And the logo for this year was designed by Timothy Banks, by the way. So, shout out to him, because that was really cool. And then, the next thing I have are just some little sticky notes, um, little tabs, that I got from the Spin the Wheel thing at the Bookish Box. They had a booth, um, and they had, like, a Spin the Wheel thing. And it's just got on the front, it has a quote from Matilda by, um, Roald Dahl, and I always say his name wrong, so sorry. Um, but it says, all the reading she had done had given her a view of life that they had never seen. I love that quote, so. Okay, so this next thing I got um, when we were going into the closing keynote panel, because we bought tickets for that, um, and they were just putting these out, and I was like, what? Um, and it's a sticker from the Trials of Apollo series by Rick Riordan, and if you think, um, it's one of the only pins that I'm going to show you, because a lot of mine are replicants, the, the same as Beth's. Um, but this is a Shadowhunters pin, and they had, like, pins of the runes. And so this one's the antidote rune, and you probably can't see it, but I'm like too lazy to walk towards the camera. And then I picked up this um, little thing that goes on the back of your phone for your like cards and stuff, um, because mine like two days before had come off, and I love having one on the back of my phone. And I saw this and I was like, great, perfect. Um, it's like a, I don't know how to say it. It's like an advertisement for um, Generation One by Pitticus Lore. He's the one who does the I'm Number Four series. And we also got. Oh, the tattoos. I was like, what is sticking out of this? Uh, a sampler for everything, everything. This came in the bag um, that we got from the biscuit breakfast um, that was loaded with stuff. But this is a little sampler for everything, everything. Um, and it also came with some everything, everything tattoos, which says the greatest risk is not taking one, which I kind of love. Um, and then I have this little stress book thing. It's it's like made of that like stuff that you like a stress ball. Um, it's a little book and it says I read YA. This was from a, like a tote giveaway that they did where you like stuff the tote with everything that you can grab off the table. Um, and so yeah, so we got And then uh, in that bag also there was this bracelet for Nixia by Scott Reddington, which says Nixia on the back and then it has like a little like tagline, which is every life has a price, which is kind of intriguing. And, like and then I also got this pencil when I bought the button and some things that I'll show you in a minute. Um, that says, for the love of books, and it's from Yalfest, it's like got the Yalfest logo on it too. Um, and then, they were giving out these little portable phone chargers, and who doesn't need port portable phone chargers? Um, if you like signed up for First Reads, like newsletter thing, they gave you these, and they're Carb the Mark um, phone chargers, which are really cool. Next thing, this is also from HMH Teen, and this was just some little like Valentine's candies to promote Meet Cute. Um, which is on sale 1 2 2018. Ooh, that's soon. So, yeah, that's all like the random assortment knickknack thingy majigs that we picked up. And so now I'm gonna move into the tote bags. Um, most of these, actually, I think all of them are Beth's, except for maybe like one or two are mine, but that's because all my duplicates are like over here and there's no need to show you both. So, and this is from HMH Teen, which I think is really cute. I love the, the books. Um, it was from a tote bag giveaway and it's for I Read YA. So, on the front, it says I Read YA. And then on the back it said, be true to your shelf, and we love that. Um, and every time I read that I think of um, the song from Mulan. True to yourself, you must be true to yourself.
so anyway this is the one that we got from the biscuit breakfast that was sponsored by underlined this tote is amazing first off it says totes books which is precious um and it's also like huge and it has a zipper which yeah um and it's like really big on the inside so this was like this made the wait to get into that event like so worth it um and we got it signed by all the authors so this one is E. Lockhart, Nicola Yoon, Jeff Setner, Nick Stone, and I don't remember who that was. Um, There's another guy. Okay, and so we went to the keynote, the closing keynote, which was Cassandra Clare and Mercer Meyer. And honestly, not to bash them because they're amazing authors and we did enjoy it. But we kind of enjoyed the other panel we went to, which was authors as fans, um, a little bit more. I think it's just because it was like laid back and funny. Um, but when we were leaving, they were handing out these and we were like, wow, this just made it all worth it. Um, this is a Shadow Hunters tote bag by Cassandra Clare and inside it has like a little card that shows you, um, just a little bit about her final book in the Dark Artifices series. Oh, and they also revealed the cover to us at the end. They were like, you guys are the first people to see the cover and the first people to know the release date. And we were like, so, um, I think the cover is stunning. Absolutely stunning. But Beth likes the Lord of Shadows cover better, so whatever. Um, so now I'm going to show you the two shirts that we bought. Um, uh, actually I bought them, but it's, it like works. Um, but this one is mine. And so I just got the, uh, generic like long sleeve for the Y'all Fest. So on the front it says Y'all Fest, King Street, Charleston, South Carolina. And then on the back it has the logo, which is beautiful. And it also has the dates, um, and who sponsored it. So, yeah. And then Beth got, um this one which is like the little hoodie it just says y'all fest on the front and where it was located there's nothing on the back uh, but it does have a hood and it's super lightweight so it's a nice like you live in the south but you need just a little bit kind of thing um and it also has her sticker because she wore it on saturday because i put it on on friday and this is when you voted for your favorite genre it was the thing penguin was doing and they gave you like an i voted sticker which is kind of precious so Ooh, the books that we acquired that we actually bought uh whether it be a pre-order or that we bought in the tent um, and then I'll move into the arcs and that'll be it. So the first two are the ones that I got. Um, and this one we pre-ordered. It's Invictus by Ryan Grotting. Um, and she signed it for us because that was part of the pre-order, um, which is really cool. I'm super excited to read this one. I had had my eye on this one since before it came out. Um, it's about like time travel. And I heard that the majority of the story takes place on the Titanic, which is like crazy fascinating. Um, so I'm super excited to read this. And I bought, um, uh, Dear Martin by Nick Stone. I was honestly, like, looking for, um, The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas, but they were out of it by the time I went to the tent. I met the author at the Biscuit Breakfast, and she was super fun and just, like, energetic. And so I was like, you know what, I think I want this book. So I was in the tent, and what I love about these is when she signed them, Oh, that was the thing. Some of the books in the tent were signed, um, that you could buy. They, they signed them anyway, and some authors didn't. So, um, I made sure to grab one that an author had signed, because, like, if I'm gonna buy it there, I want it signed. Um, but she would put a different saying in, like, all of them. So, it's Dear Martin. So, she marked out Martin and put Reader, and then this part was always different. And so, I picked the one that said, Be the change you want to see in the world, and then she signed it. Um, I think it's really cute. And I, I'm really looking, it's a short book, but I'm really looking forward to reading it just because I feel like it deals a lot with um, Black Lives Matter movement. And I think that's an important thing to, you know, like be aware of and to be knowledgeable about. Um, and I really love that writers have started to like approach these difficult topics and kind of um, explore them and, and make sure that their voice is heard. These next two are ones that Beth bought. Uh, she pre-ordered The Language of Thorns by Lee Bardugo. Um, this book is absolutely gorgeous. Like, there's no other way to describe it. It's just gorgeous. Um, it's basically a bunch of, like, fairy tales kind of things told in the Grisha verse, if I'm correct. Yes. Um, and, like, each story, like, starts out with, like, small things around the side, and, like, as you progress, it grows. Um, and at the end, it's, like, a giant picture. I'm trying to get to the end of this one. Yeah, it's, like, a giant picture. So it forms a picture as it tells you, and then it puts it at the end. This is just beautiful. Um, and it is signed because it's a pre-order. And I'm trying to get to where she signed it. Oh my god, I got it. Uh, and she signed it in gold, which is just, like, really cool. Um, yeah. Naked. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. I've been instructed to show you naked. It's kind of everything. 
Um, and the spine's really cool too. Then she bought this one in the tent. Um, this is The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. She had, um, like, listened to the audiobook of this, and so she really wanted a copy, and it's really hard to find for some reason. Um, and we were super excited. We didn't even know. She's gonna buy it anyway. Um, and I, like, went and grabbed it for her. We didn't even realize that it is signed by Mackenzie Lee. And that's when we were like, oh, some of these books are signed. Okay, last and final part of this video. The part that everyone's been waiting The part that everyone's probably been waiting for, let's be honest with you. Um, the arcs. We have quite a few to show you, so I probably won't give you like an in-depth synopsis of all of them, I'll just like hit some high points here and there. Um, so this first one, this one is mine, and this is The Time Bomb by, um, Joelle Sharp, mm, Char Charbonneau? I probably slaughtered the first and the last name of that, and I apologize. Um, but this is about a school bombing. Um, I have read Violent Ends by, um, Sean David Hutchinson and a bunch of other writers, but he, like, coordinated it, um, and it was crazy impactful. Um, and I also own This Is Where It Ends, and I can't say her name, so I'm not gonna try. Um, yeah. This is also the author of the testing trilogy, so, um, and she signed it. I was actually, like, in line for the arcs, and I noticed that somebody was, like, signing them and then handing them to the, to the lady, and she, yeah, she signed them. So that's really cool. Um, not only is it an advanced reader copy, but it's signed. This next one is the only thing we got from the Underline booth the whole day, even though they're the sponsors. Um, and that is an arc of Tess of the Road um, by Rachel Hartman. I... Er, I feel like I've heard of her other books. Yes, Serafina. Duh, it's on the back. Um, I don't know a whole lot about this, to be honest with you. I really don't. But I knew that it was... Oh, it deals with dragons. And I knew that it was the author of Serafino, and Serafino's always intrigued me, so I was like, I want this one. Cause and this one comes out in February. Oh, Time Bomb came out in March. It comes out in March. This one is also mine. I think all of mine are on top. Beautiful. Okay. Um, and this is Down and Across, a novel by Arvin Ahum... Um, uh, Amadi? Amadi? I mean, uh, I don't know. Um, this is a contemporary novel. This is the one where you voted for Penguin, and you got an arc in the genre you voted for. And, like, I had a hard time with this. I was like, historical fiction, contemporary, historical fiction, contemporary. Because I love historical fiction. But then I realized, I'm a sucker for a good contemporary, and I only really like historical fiction if it's Rudis of Petties, so... I went with this one. Um, but this is really cute. It's, um... I'm just gonna read the blurb to you. It says, Scott for... Okay, Scott somebody. Uh, can hardly commit to a breakfast cereal, let alone a passion, but with college applications looming, he hopes and prompt you trip to Washington DC will show him the secret to success. So it seems like a like a coming of age like travel kind of thing and I'm all for that. So this one I think is also HMHT. Yeah it is. Um I have a lot of HMHT narcs. Um and this is Brightly Burning by Alexa Don Don I don't know. I'm just gonna leave this like this one line for you and it's kinda like hooked to me. A lush and enthralling reimagining of the classic Jane Eyre set among the stars. So like Jane Eyre in space. What? So had to. And there was a huge line for this arc. Like, everybody wanted this one. It was crazy. Oh, uh, this one comes out in May. So this is like the farthest away one that I have. I'm pretty sure. Okay. This is the last arc that I picked up that I'm not giving to somebody else. And I'll explain that in a minute. This is Instructions for a Secondhand Heart by... Why did I get all the hard ones? Um, Tamson... Tamson Murray? I'm gonna call it that. Um, but this is about a boy who gets a heart transplant, um, and, like, it kind of revolves around, like, his life and everything, uh, which is really cool. I don't think that's something that we really have ever seen in YA, so I'm excited about that. And this comes out in December of this year, actually. So this one is, like, I feel like I need to read this one, like, now. Okay. So now we're moving into Beth's arcs. Um, this one is Reign of the Fallen by Sarah Glenn Marsh. This comes out um, in January of next year. This one is the LGBTQ one, isn't it? Yes. Okay. One of but this is about like a necromancer. Yeah, and um, she like rules the dead. So that's kind of cool. This next one she kind of just like saw in passing and just grabbed. Um, and this is the Red Abbey Chronicles um, by Maria. Oh my god. To mm, I'm not even gonna try. I'm not even gonna try. Um, like, would you try that? No. Anyway, um, this comes out in January of next year, and it is, uh, it's a prequel. Okay, and this one is Love and Other Carnivore Plants, car Carnivorous Plants, 
by Florence Gonsalves. Gons Gonsalves. <laughs> I'm so bad with names. Like, I can't even tell I feel you. Like you need to um, this comes out in May of next year, so it's a while. Um, this is the other LGBTQ. Yes, it is. Um, it says, one by one, Danny Berkowitz is losing all the underpinnings of her identity after freshman year at Harvard turned out to be the biggest anticlimax of her life. She's failing pre-med, she left mid-semester to enter treatment for an eating disorder, and she's drifting apart from her best friend since forever. When Danny finds herself detracted to an edgy older girl she met in rehab, she finally feels like she might be finding a new sense of self that seems right. But then tragedy strikes and her self-destructive tendencies come back to haunt her with a vengeance. How can she discover who she really is when everything threatens to consume her? <laughs> okay, this next one is Chemistry Lessons by Meredith Goldstein. This is also from HMH Teen, and it comes out in June of 2018. I think this is the farthest away one that we got. Um, this one is a contemporary. Um, this is about a girl who decides to do, like, an experiment with, um, two boys. Not, like, a that kind of experiment. Like, a scientific experiment. Like, scientific inquiry. You know, like, using the scientific method. Um, and it kind of goes haywire, and, yeah. A little, like, short blurb is one fantastic internship at MA MIT plus amazing friends plus one steady boyfriend equals the perfect summer. Or does it? Next one is Ash Princess by Laura Sebastian. This is from Underlined. This is the one that uh, Beth decided to pick from the three that you could pick. Um, and it's fantasy. And it's about, like, a girl who is... Her mom is murdered in front of her, and she kind of, like, runs for it. And... Well, no, she's been, like, captive in her own palace for ten years. Yeah. And then she decides that she's fed up. Um, this is a really bad description, I'm sorry. This comes out in April of 2018, though, so. Two, these next two I actually have copies of two, but I'm giving them to a friend because we don't need two, and I promised her I'd bring her an arc, so it worked out. Um, and this one is The Wicked Deep by Shay Earnshaw. This cover is everything, okay? It's, like super shiny first off and it's like really detailed and this is about um like witches yeah two centuries ago three sisters were sentenced to death for witchery stones were tied to their ankles and they were drowned in the deep water surrounding the town uh, and now for a brief time each bleh, a brief time each summer the sisters return stealing the bodies of three weak-hearted girls so that they may seek their revenge Ooh. and this one comes out um on march of 2018 so this is this next one is American Panda by Gloria Chow. This comes out in February 2018, and this is a contemporary um, about a girl who should be in high school, but she's not because she skipped a grade. Um, so she's in college, kind of young. She's at MIT, and um, her parents like want her to be a doctor, but she has no desire to be a doctor. Um, and she kind of, I think she falls in love, who isn't, uh, Taiwanese, which is what her parents want her to marry, because she is from Taiwan. So, um, it's very Dimple No Rishi vibe, um, which I'm kind of all there for. So that's all that we have to show you. We got a lot at, um, Y'all Fest, but I mean, that's kind of the point. Um, this year we didn't really do, just like a quick recap, I'm just gonna give you one real quick. Um, we didn't really do any signings, actually, we didn't go to a single signing. Um, we did that a lot last year, and it kind of kept us from being able to do, like, anything else. Um, because you just have to wait in line forever for some of these authors. And a lot of the authors were repeats from last year, so we'd already gotten the book signed that we really wanted signed. Um, there were a couple that this is, like, not the case. Like, I really wanted David Levithan, but he was right in the middle of the biscuit breakfast, and I think it just, it was better that I went to the biscuit breakfast, I feel like. Um, so we mainly just did arc drops, to be honest with you. We waited in a lot of lines for arcs. Um, but I think it was totally worth it. We have collectively, like, like, 12 arcs, which is pretty impressive. So, um, I don't regret it at all. And we went to two panels. We went to Authors as Fans, which was, um, Veronica Roth, Lee Bardugo, Renee Adier, I'm so sorry, I'm pretty sure I just said that wrong, uh, Sabah Tahir, Stephanie Garber, and Victoria Aveyard, and that was hysterical. Um, Veronica Roth came dressed up as Draco Malfoy, and it was scary accurate. Hugo was, um, Lucius Malfoy. I mean, kind of, sort of, but she totally played the part better than she dressed it. Um, I want to say it was Renee Ad 
Je no, Sabata here came as a Ravenclaw. She looked kind of like Cho, but I don't think she was trying to be Cho. Um, and then um, Renee Adjie. I can't say her name now. I said it the first time. Renee Adjie. Yeah, Renee Adjie came as a stormtrooper. She had a stormtrooper onesie on. It was great. Um, Stephanie Garber didn't dress up, and neither did Victoria Aveyard, but they were still really fun. They were actually kind of quiet for the panel, to be honest with you. Um, really, it was just Veronica Roth and Lee Bartuko. Um, but Sabasa here and uh, Renee got a little involved as well, but Victoria and Stephanie were kind of quiet. But it was still hysterical. I really okay, enjoyed we will, it. We will have uh, videos. Yeah, I do have some um, snippets of that. I have some vlogs that we did, um, mainly just like us walking around. I didn't really vlog like... A whole lot of like at the event but we do have some of the panels that we went to we also went to the closing keynote which was um some moderator that i forgot her name and i feel really bad because she does have books um just not a lot she had like one book um but she was funny and then uh it was marissa meyer and cassandra claire and they were a lot of fun um and we got to see a preview of lord of shadows so i mean not lord of shadows um queen of air and darkness queen of air and darkness sorry so that was a lot of fun i really enjoyed it we went with um Two of my friends, uh, Chloe and Carly, they're sisters too, which is kind of perfect, and they're also huge book nerds. Um, shout out to Chloe, she's starting a YouTube channel that is going to be called The Raggedy Bookworm, so if she puts it up at some point, I will definitely leave her link below in probably all my videos, because I love her to death. Um, and she also has an Instagram, The Raggedy Bookworm, so like, check that out, shameless plugging for a friend, I don't care. Um, yeah, so that's all I have for you today, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, stay tuned for more awesome content, there might be some things happening on my channel that you want to stay tuned for. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.